Looks like it's time for a game collection update. What's up everybody? Today we got ourselves an old fashioned video game pickups video. I just recently got back into game collecting. Now if you've been following my channel, you'll know that I have currently two games in my collection. One of them being Super Mario Bros. 3 for the NES and the other one being The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past for the Super Nintendo. Now what I got here are six games that I picked up recently ranging from various systems, two of them being for the Nintendo 64, the other one being a Wii U title, PS2 game, a Nintendo DS, and a Game Boy game. So why don't we go ahead and show you what I got. First game on the list is Mole Mania for the Game Boy. Now this game was a late Game Boy game released in 1997, produced by Shigeru Miyamoto. It's a puzzle game where the objective is to move a black ball from one point of the map all the way to the exit. It's a pretty fun game, I just finished it recently and the puzzles are pretty challenging. Basically the story is you're a mole, some dude kidnaps your kids and your wife and you're out there to save them. I'd like to consider it similar along the lines if you've played The Adventures of Lolo, then you could probably get an idea of how this game presents itself with its gameplay. It's a late Game Boy game. I wouldn't be surprised if you guys haven't heard of this game before. I highly suggest you pick it up. There you have it, Mole Mania for the Game Boy. Next game on the list is Ghost Trick Phantom Detail by Capcom. Now I believe this game was released in 2010. I don't know much about the game but I briefly read about it. Actually the, the scenarios and the story is written by the same person who did the Ace Attorney series. But this game looks interesting. It has to do with puzzles again. As you can tell I haven't opened it yet. However I do plan on playing this. I just gotta find where my DS is. I For some reason I can't find it. I have it stored away somewhere inside this house. This game looked interesting enough than this being a game that was released in the latter half of the DS life cycle. It's a game that I think a lot of people missed out on so I'm looking forward to playing this game as well. Next game on the list is Rogue Galaxy for the PS2. Now, Rogue Galaxy is an RPG developed by Level 5. I like to call myself a Level 5 fan. I enjoyed Nino Kuni. I enjoyed Dragon Quest VIII. I even enjoyed their soccer RPG Inazuma XI as well. So I'm very interested to play this game, although I haven't really played much of it. I've owned this game on two separate occasions and only managed to get about two hours in before the disc stopped. For some reason, the game wouldn't work past that point. So I'm hoping this game actually works so that I can get past that two hour barrier mark and get on with the rest of the story. From what I've played, I've really enjoyed it. The battle system is, I like to call similar to the Tales of series where it's more action oriented. And just looking at the gameplay mechanics and the leveling up mechanics, it looks pretty interesting and it has to do with space pirates. So how can you not love space pirates? Following up, next game on the list is The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD for the Wii U. Now I did own this game on the GameCube. It was probably one of my favorite games on the GameCube. I had so much fun. Now cell shaded graphics is actually a pretty beautiful thing and I can't wait to see what it looks like in HD. I know I'm a little late to the party getting it on the Wii U because it's been out for a while, but I just recently got a Wii U so I've been slowly trying to build that collection up. Also, one thing I noticed is that when I was at the store the other day, I saw Legend of Zelda Wind Waker there. However, the cover wasn't this shiny gold. It was actually a regularly colored cover. So I thought to myself, might as well get the shiny gold one now before it's all gone. I'm actually very excited to play this game. I'm interested to see how the gamepad works out with it. There you go, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. Now the last two games here are for the Nintendo 64. First game is Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. Shadows of the Empire is an early Nintendo 64 game. When I was growing up, I was more of a PlayStation guy versus a Nintendo 64 guy but my brother did have a Nintendo 64 so I was very interested in some of the games that came out on it, this being one of them. So I never really had the chance to play Shadows of the Empire before. I remember seeing some gameplay videos. One of the videos that I saw was that Battle of Hoth video when you're in your snow speeder. So it looked really cool but this game is actually a third person shooter. Nintendo 64 games really don't stand the test of time. They don't look as pretty then as they do now. Take it up to those polygonal graphics that it has. However, I am curious about this game because I've never actually had the chance to play it. And finally, the last game on the list is WCW vs NWO World Tour. I know what you're thinking. 
There's better games out there on the Nintendo 64, especially with this Aki engine. I mean, there is WCW NWO Revenge, WrestleMania 2000, WWF No Mercy. So why not get one of those games instead of this? Well, this was the game that pioneered that engine on the Nintendo 64, and the way Aki developed the game with its gameplay mechanics is so simple, yet very fun. I loved this game as a kid. It was actually this game and GoldenEye that got me hooked onto the Nintendo 64. I had never really had the chance to play Super Mario 64. So WCW versus NWO World Tour, very cool game. Yes, there are better wrestling games out there. And I highly suggest that if you've never owned the Nintendo 64 before, if you're interested in playing wrestling games on Nintendo 64, you're probably better off playing WWF No Mercy, as that game is considered by many people one of the better wrestling games, or the, probably the best wrestling game on the Nintendo 64. So there you have it, a game collection update. Now I've been following along, this is six games here, so that makes eight games in my current collection. Now, if you like what you saw, go ahead and show us some love and give us a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more video game collection updates and to keep yourself updated to all the other things that I have on this channel. And with that being said, my name is Josh and thanks for watching Five in the Side. Macho Man has become one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. He did some great promo work when he was there in the WWF. I, I find myself sometimes on YouTube 